tell me what we talked about last week. We talked about... Uh huh. We talked about we're going to be studying this this time about what the book of the Bible, the, Bible, the book of what Asher Acts, right? The book of Acts, and we're gonna every week we'll have a letter. Last week, what happened? Where did Jesus go, Bailey? Back to heaven. And what about apostles? A is for ascension. Jesus went back to heaven. And A is for apostles. What about them? How many were there when Jesus went back to heaven? Remember, there were there 12 Eleven. Why? Because one of them Who did? Um, uh, okay, let's sing the song. Uh, and to find it and see if Okay. Jesus called them one by oh, one. No. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Then came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. And they all followed him. James, the one they called the less. Simon also Thaddeus. The twelfth apostle who thus made Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. And they all followed him. Matthias then took Judah's place to preach to men of every race. Paul three preaching trips did make and went to Rome for Jesus' sake. Okay, so who? Why was Judas, why did he have to be replaced? Because he was what? He was, uh, he refused to get what Jesus gave him. No. What happened to Judas, Asher? Um, he murdered himself because after he had crucified Jesus, he realized he did a very bad thing. So he just didn't want to be alive anymore. That's right. He felt so sad. And so bad that he didn't want to be alive anymore. So what did he do? Right, he hung himself in a tree. Okay, so we're going to talk about the book of Acts. This week, we're in Acts what? Two. Two. Acts two. And B is for what? Birthday. Birthday. We're going to talk about a birthday tonight. Exactly. The birth of the church. Okay. Now, um, did, was there a church before Acts 2? Where? Where? Where did they worship God? In the the temple. In the temple. First of all, you're right, Asher. They did worship God in the tent. And what was the name of the tent? A tabernacle. And then Solomon built a what? Temple, right. And But now Jesus told them, what did he tell 
Okay, he said there's going to be a church building my church. Okay. Uh-huh. And so, last week we talked about who became the 12th apostle to replace Judas. What's his name? Matthias then took Judas' place to what? Preach to men of every race. Right. How, who chose Matthias? God. God did. Right. Okay. Then, all of a sudden, what did, what happened? A storm. A what? No, a wind, a rushing mighty wind, the Bible says, like a hurricane, sounded like a hurricane came, and, huh? I don't like hurricanes. No, nobody does, and all of the apostles were upstairs, and they came outside to see what in the world is that sound, what is going on outside? And all the people from all over the nations had come to Jerusalem for what? To see what was happening. For, to, Sabbath. for well, it was a Sabbath, but it was a very special Sabbath. The day of no close Pentecost. Pentecost, the day of Pentecost. It was kind of like our thanksgiving and they came to tell God thank you for everything for all the crops and everything he had given them okay so when they got outside all of a sudden what in the world is on the heads of the apostles what flames, flames. Not uh, they're not they're because they're not burning. There are flames of fire. Now, did everybody that was there that day have flames of fire on their heads? No. Only the 12 apostles did. And Jesus had told them, go back to Jerusalem and wait because I'm going to send what? Well, I'm, I'm going to send a helper for you. Since Jesus was gone back where? To heaven, right. He ha was going to send him a helper. So this is the way they knew the helper or the Holy Spirit had come. Nobody but the 12 apostles had fire on their head. Well, now, what in the world do you think is going on? All of a sudden, Peter starts talking, and the other apostles start talking. And the Holy Spirit had given them special power. All of a sudden, every one of the 12 apostles was speaking a different language. Do you know a different language, Asher? Spanish. A little bit or a lot? I can't speak a lot of it, but I can speak a few words. A few words, Bailey. Uh, Chinese. I don't know about Chinese. You do? A little bit. I don't know how to say too. Okay, and you know a little bit of what? Spanish, Spanish too. You know some French, too. Okay. Your mom can? Emily could speak French, couldn't she? And Emily's mom really could speak French, and your Uncle Harold can speak French. Okay. So, all of a sudden, they could start speaking in different languages. Listen. Jesus 
Each one of the apostles is telling the, some of the people in their own language that Jesus that you decided was going to go on the cross to be killed was God's one and only son. Okay, the Bible tells us that each person from every nation that was there, and there were 15 nations, 15 countries that had people there. They looked at each other and said, the people started looking at each other and said, what in the world? These guys are all from Galilee. How can they, how can they, what are they talking about? What's going on? And some of them, didn't know that they were speaking in a different language. And some of them said, Oh my, they must be, be drinking. They must be drunk. They're talking out of their heads. They're talking crazy. Okay? And Peter said, what do you think Peter said? Yeah, no. No way. We're not drunk. The apostles aren't drunk. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. We're speaking different languages so you can understand what is going on. Okay. What's next? And then people started listening. This group started hearing in Egyptian. This group started hearing from Rome, started hearing in Italian. Some of them started hearing in Chinese. All of them had heard in their own languages. And everybody then understood what Peter was saying. And Peter told them, look, that Jesus, you remember when you said, what? Crucify him! Crucify him! That Jesus that you decided to kill was who? God, the, one the one and only Son of God. And he said, he's the one that came. Jesus came to earth as a what? As a baby in what town? Be Jerusalem. No, Beth. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. And then he grew up. And uh, his cousin... John the baptizer, what did he do for Jesus? He baptized him, right. And then Jesus started what? Telling people about, about God, his Father in heaven. And then Jesus also did what? Something that we can't do. Not magic. No, what? what is... We can't do it. It's not magic tricks. Jesus started doing what? Miracles. Miracles. He made people well that were sick. He made people that were blind so they could see. He made people deaf that were deaf be able to hear. He made people that were lame be able to walk. And then what happened to Jesus? He got crucified. He got crucified. Did he stay dead, Asher? For how long? Only how long? Three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. Then what happened to him, Bailey? No, 
then he raised from the To come up, come alive, right? And he said, listen, every one of you, you are the reasons. Y'all were some of the ones that said, crucify him, crucify him. And then the people felt what? Huh? Felt guilty. They felt bad, didn't they? And they said, They said, what must we do to be forgiven, to be saved? What are we going to do? What have we done? We've done something really horrible. And what do you think Peter told them? Peter said, next. Peter said, repent. Turn. Repent means to turn away from the bad things that you're what? Doing or saying and to what? Keep, just say, I'm sorry, but keep doing it again and again. Mm-hmm. Huh? Is that what repent means? What, Asher? Not do it again and again and again. It said it means being sorry for the bad things that you've done and then deciding I'm not going to do that again. And so he said, repent and be what? Baptized. baptized. Now, does bapti- being baptized mean... Sh- mean you put a little bit of water on your fingers and flick it on them? It means you're buried in the water. You go all the way under the water and then you what? Come up a new what? A new person. God forgives you of your sins. Does God say, well, okay, but we'll wait and see how you do? Is that the way God does it? No. No, God says, I'm going to forget all about everything you've done bad, and you're going to start all over again. Wouldn't that, isn't that nice? Well, sometimes... When we do something bad at home, our parents say, I love you, and I know that you really are sorry, but what? You have to to what? Prove that you're going to do better, don't they? But does God say that? No, God forgets all about it and we start with brand new all over again. Okay, now let's see how well you've been listening. We're going to earn a prize. Okay. <laughs> A loud sound. Heard, right. They so heard. And the second blank says they heard a loud sound of a rushing mighty what, Asher? Hurricane. Well, it wind. was wind, right. Very good. Both of you got that right. Okay. What was on the heads? Of the twelve apostles, 
Asher. Fire. Fire. Okay. Write that in this, the next blank. Bailey, when the Jews heard the apostles speaking in different languages, they said, these guys must be drunk. drunk. Right. Very good. Peter told the Jews, Asher, that his what? That you, that this who that you crucified? Jesus. Jesus was the one and only son of what, Bailey? God. God, right. Very good. You two are pretty good listeners. Okay. Asher, the people answered, What must we do to be saved? saved? Peter told them to what? Bailey, this means to be sorry for the bad things you've done and said and stop doing them. What's that word? Re. Means to turn around. Okay, Asher. Repent. Repent. Very good. Okay, Bailey. Those who heard and believed the preaching that day, what happened to them? What did they get done to them? Baptized. Do you know how to spell that? B A P T I Z E D. And how many do you think were baptized on that first day, Asher? I'm guessing about 5,000. 3,000. 3,000. Okay. So they were, okay, true or false, Bailey? They were all in the city of Samaria on Pentecost. Where were they? Right. So is that true or false? False. False. Very good. Okay, Asher. Peter said that God was surprised when the Jews killed Jesus on the cross. Did God know that was going to happen? Yes. Of course he did. God knows what? Everything, all the time. Very good. So that's false too. Okay, Bailey. Everyone in Jerusalem that day of Pentecost received the gift of the Holy Spirit, had fire on their heads. Was that everyone in Jerusalem? No. No. Who was it, Asher? The twelve apostles. Only the twelve apostles. Very good. So false on that one. The gift of the Holy Spirit made the apostles able to speak in languages they had never known or studied before. True or false? True. True. Very good. Paul preached the first sermon that day. Was Paul there that day? Yes. Was he? No. No. What? Who was? No. No. Who was? Whose name did you find on that? Matthew? Peter. Peter. Very good. Okay. Now, matching. What matches with sound, Asher? What in the other? Very good. What matches with baptized, Bailey? How many were baptized? The, huh? Very good. 3,000. Who was crucified and raised, Asher? Jesus. Jesus. That was an easy one. What means repent, Bailey? And turn away. Decide your what. You are going to do it again and again or you're not? You're not going to do it again and again. Right. Very good. How many were baptized? 3,000. 3, Very good. I was going to see if I could trick y'all, but I didn't. 
the apostle spoke what, Bailey? Different languages. Different languages. Had they studied them? Yep. No. Who? The people were from where? Asher. Shh. Asher. <laughs> Jerusalem. They were in Jerusalem, but where were they from? The apostles were from Judea, but the people were from every what? Every nation. Every nation. Very good. What city were they in? Jerusalem. Right. Y'all did great. You are very good listeners. You will get a prize. Now... We're going to play a game and see how well you do. Okay, Asher, I'm going to give you one of these pieces and I'm going to let you put it up on the magnet board and we're going to make a birthday cake. Since this was about the birth of the what? The birth of the what? The apostle? The church, right. Okay, tell me what this word means. What is that word? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. What does it mean in our story? Put it up there. Very good. All right. Put it up at the top. Sure. Okay, Bailey. The year was 33 AD. And what happened that year? In, that day in Jerusalem. It was the day of what? Very good. Okay. Asher, next. Well, no, it can be there. What word? Okay, tell me about the apostles. What happened to them in our lesson? And how do we know that they got the gift of the Holy Spirit Jesus had told about them? Because um, they had fire on their heads. Fire on their heads. Very good. Okay. Bailey? What is that? What is your word? Huh? Drunk. Okay. What, what about it? It means that people drink too much. Yeah, but in our lesson. Some people said what? Very good. Very good. Now, put that beside Asher's. Doesn't want to stand up very good. Oh, okay. That's all right. Okay. Um, next, what have you got? Peter. What about Peter? What did he do that day? Um, he... Did he say, yep, you're right, they're drunk? No. What did he say? He said that they were, um, they were not drunk, they were just speaking in Okay. Tell me about this, Bailey. What does that say? Holy Spirit. What about the Holy Spirit? Okay, and how do we know the apostles got the gift of the Holy Spirit that day? Okay, did everybody in Jerusalem that day have flames on their head? No. No. How, tell me about that number. Um, it's the number of how many got baptized that day. Uh, very good. And what is that number? Three thousand. Very good. Okay. 
Make another layer. This is going to be a big cake. What does... Okay. What does yours say, Bailey? Language. Languages. Languages mean, well, people speak different languages. Like Spanish, Chinese, all French, English. All so, very good. Okay. Um, and who spoke a language they had never learned that day? And? The apostles, right, very good. Okay, what did your say, Asher? What must we do to be blank? Be what? Saved. What? Okay, who asked that? Um, the person in the crowd. The people in the crowd, very good. Okay, Bailey, last one. We've already done that one. Oh, yeah. Tum oh. Tongues of what? Fire. Okay, what about it? They, the, only the apostles had fire on Okay, and what did it mean they got? The Holy Spirit. Very good. Okay. Now, we've got... I have something a little... Tricky for you. Yeah. We're going to. We're going to have. Sit down in your seat. We're going to have. A. Birthday party tonight. And in order. To. Go to. I'm going to let you be what? If you if you get flames on your head, you're a what? Apostle. A one of the 12 apostles. Yeah. Correct. You're fixing to see. Wait a minute. I'll do it. I'll do it. I got it. I'm going to just stand up. <laughs> okay. Now. Well, I guess the light is not close enough to you, is it? Okay, come over here. <gasps> What's happening? When it gets closer, it what? Glows. Glows in the dark. Ah. Very good. These are. I am doing magic. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now have a seat. And so you have, we're going to have a birthday party. And what do you usually have at a birthday party? I, Okay, have a seat. Shh. I told you you would get a prize. <laughs> We're going to have birthday cake tonight. Okay. No, they're not. They're birthday cake. You can 